Hello there, my name is Rampant Mystic, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. And it is Sunday finally for us. Now let's check. Oh, I think it's complete. Oh, that could not have come at a better time. So let's pick up the egg. So sadly, I don't have much time to record, but oh, it's 3,200. Okay. Uh, an anomalous egg, the show is tough and leathery and twitches with when touched. A faint tap. Oh. Okay, I misread that. A faint tapping can be heard coming from within. From time to time, it appears to sing. So, we just got the collectible, and... That is it. Okay, no idea what it does. Uh, okay, um, that is uh, interesting. It'll... I assume it's going to hatch, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. So it is Sunday, so I'm assuming this has been done probably since Saturday. Um, hoping it uh, everybody has actually got to experience the egg. I'm not, so this is going to be the first thing. Anyway, let's go. Let's get on with our weekend warrior mission. So today, we're going to be doing our weekend warrior mission. Give me a second. Alrighty, I'm really sorry about that. So we already started the mission. Uh, and uh, I'm sorry, just... Uh, all day. Uh, I was supposed to record this like several hours ago, but I couldn't uh, because, you know, nobody wants to hear about this, but my news was horrible. And something's going on outside. And we're back. Uh, sorry, something like freaked the hell out of me, so uh, there's gonna be a little bit of a cut here, you probably already noticed. And uh, yeah, I just had to check what it is and no idea what it is, but it freaked the hell out of me. It was a huge loud noise. Now, uh, let's see, uh, three knowledge stones, so hopefully... Oh my, why is my sensitivity a little bit horrible? Alright, three knowledge stones, uh, shouldn't be too hard to get. Hopefully today's mission is a little bit on the... on the quicker side. Now, it is... Uh, again, I am recording this late because my nose was slightly, slightly horrible, and just stuff happened. No, just don't... Oh my god, that one's like somewhere. Somewhere down there, apparently. How am I supposed to... How do I know where it is? Oh, there it is, okay. Is this a ruin? Ruins have these, I believe. Lots of these. Alright. So, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's one of those ruins. So there's gonna be enough here for us to actually... Oh my... Hey, well, sorry about that. It happens. So I'm gonna be a little bit distracted today. It's just all day, it's been horrible for me, personally. And for everybody around me, of course. Because if I'm horrible, then so is everybody else. But anyway, I'm gonna be a little bit more on the silent side, because it is kind of late here when I'm recording. It's like... Almost 9 p.m. Normally at this time I have everything ready, uh, but again, oh my, I should have taken the dragonfly. Uh, it's that, uh, it's just, I'm a little bit disoriented at the moment. It happens. It happens to the best of us. Really. Oh, there's just like one there. Okay, I think we're done. <laughs> it was just one here. Why did I go for the further one? All right, so let's get to our exocraft. I totally missed that one. It happens. Let's go to our, uh, not exocraft, uh, to our ship. That's our ship. Or received. So yeah, we've been, uh, you know, a little bit out today and, uh, well, in general, I haven't actually been feeling very well. But that's absolutely understandable. It's winter time and winter time is when uh, everything bad happens to me, so. Yeah, uh, stuff is on a very, very annoying schedule. Anyway, in other news, so I've been meaning to buy, we are going to be going on vacation, not soon. Uh, the summer, but I've been meaning to buy the airplane tickets for a little bit. So today, I just entered and decided to check the prices. And the interesting thing is, now I knew that they increase the price, you know, daily, hourly, whatever. But like, see, I entered all the information. I selected the flight, and I was like, eh, tickets are like 300 euros. Uh, you know, that's that's fine. And uh, five minutes later, they're like 320. I'm like, why? What happened in five minutes? Like, are they gonna be 500 tomorrow? Are they gonna be a thousand tomorrow? Like, who would buy them for a thousand? Anyway, I, yeah, I would just drive there if it's a thousand. Seriously, it's, I 
buy a car and drive there and just leave it there if it's a thousand. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a, a nuisance that in five minutes the price basically went up by 20. It's kind of annoying. Uh, anyway, let's uh, check out to the knowledge stand. What is that? No, sorry, uh, because of the flare, or the uh, marker, I got a little bit confused there. Now let's see where the settlement is. I'm looking at the hut up top because it's going to be a lot easier for me to locate it because people have bases here, lots and lots of bases. There's a disturbance. It is over there. Now let's mark it quickly. It is actually kind of close, so I can go there by Dragonfly. I'm not going to, uh, but I can go there by it. If I had a little bit more time, I normally would. Now the egg... Okay, there it is. Uh, for a second there, I got scared. It was like, ooh, boy, it's missing. Right, the egg. Um, there's probably speculation. I actually haven't been on Twitter all day, weirdly enough. Probably should have been. I uh, might have actually gotten a little bit more information, but I haven't really checked anything yet. I'm assuming somebody already knows what it is. What it does. Uh, we're going to discover that uh, with time. As time goes on, hopefully uh, tomorrow, something would have happened to the egg. No idea what, but it's, it's there. Or maybe it's just a cruel practical joke, which is entirely possible. A sense of loss surrounds the site. A mysterious energy buzzes around the broken vessel, but there is no sign of either life or death. Any crew are long vanished. So the weird sound that I like to make, uh, just want to return to backstage and understand of my own. So dark, I can't stand it. I want crimson light. Yes, everybody wants crimson light. The voice of the static whispers its da uh, demand. Sorry, not damned. This planet is hurt. It hungers. It must copy, copy a material from this planet. It must copy itself. So 60 impulse beans. Uh, okay, so impulse beans aren't generally the tough, hardest ones, hardest thing to find. There's some over there. Now I'm gonna need... Uh, an exocraft. Problem is I can't place my dragonfly here. It's not possible because I don't have any edit permission for whoever built the base. But I... What is going on outside? Uh, but I can use their exocrafts. Uh, so, like, the people that actually built the bases here normally do, like, uh, do exocrafts so that you can use whatever exocraft you want. Now, it's gonna be a little bit easier for us to spot them. Uh, the impulse beams, that is, because they are kind of, kind of giant. You know, just, just pointing that out there. Now, and we get 10 a piece, so that's kind of nice. Uh, that being said, though, we don't know how rare they are on this planet. Uh, currently, we have two on site. Now, best case scenario, we're going to need six. Realistically, sp oh my. Seriously, realistically, oh my, really? I'm going to, oh great, the Sentinels are now after me. Realistically speaking, oh, there's two here, aren't there? Nice. And Heplopal weed, cool. Come on, let me, let me take that. Come on, let me, no, no, you don't want to? Why? Alright, sorry about that. Okay, more impulse beams, that's nice. Impulse beams, not beams. Yeah, we're not beaming anybody here. Fuel required, okay. That's uh, easy to deal with. Probably shouldn't have used condensed carbon there, though. So we are getting a lot closer, and it looks like... Yeah, it looks like the maw just uh, spawns them in closer together, so that's kind of nice. Uh, it beats looking around for them, which is... Oh, this is an aggressive sentinel planet. Okay, so that's why that one was chasing me. Probably should have noticed. Ah, again, sorry if I'm silent a little bit here and there. It just I just have to. From time to time, so that's wheat. Uh, we are looking for impulse beams. And yes, I'm seeing beams at this point because who knows? Alright, so there's none in the immediate area, so I'm gonna have to travel for a little bit. Now, this is why I prefer the dragon floor. Now, I believe that one we got. So I'm gonna go f to it quickly. Oh, there's two here, isn't, aren't there? No, okay, so we haven't gotten this one because there's two here. And there's Sweet Root, I would have remembered that. Okay, that's nice. Uh, we are getting a decent chunk. That's that's good. So one more? Heptopod? Pulpy Roots? And there they are. I actually see them because they're so huge. Now, because there's an Exocraft already here, I can just summon it in front of me instead of having to run towards it. Now, that's the one thing that I don't like about the Dragonfly. You can't summon it to... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. 
But everything else is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna get this. I'm already here. Where's the impulse beams? Oh, great. Now it's gonna be like half an hour until I find the next ones, isn't it? Okay, let's go. Today's episode is either gonna be really short or really long, depending on when the next impulse beams. Yes, I specifically said beams there show up. You know what? From now on, it's probably gonna be impulse beam. Oh, I see him. So after this, I'm probably gonna need one more. Oh, I see the I see the other one. There it is. Uh, potentially two more, I guess, depending on how much I get. If I get six again, I'm gonna need one more. Unless I destroy it, of course. In that case, I'm gonna need again one more. Okay, sixty. Exactly. Wow. So we're just gonna drive back. It was kind of close. We haven't actually been too far away. There's more. Over there. Yeah, if you're playing the mod, um, good for you, actually. Yeah, you're gonna be a little bit better off in terms of the anomaly. Of course, if you're carrying impulse beams on you at all times, you should be fine as well, but... The other thing, I do know that most people, well... You know, I'm, I'm not speaking from any knowledge, but I'm assuming that most people do check uh, on Reddit or Twitter what the actual daily is and if they have the resources in their bank they just pick them up and instantly do it you know just because it's a lot easier because you already have the materials farmed up from a very long time ago and it's just it's just simpler for them and I get it but I prefer to be a little bit more surprised even though sometimes the game has thrown surprises at us that take us like 40 minutes to do and just saying that uh, farming anyway let's uh, read after we turn in the impulse beams yep impulse beams indeed I am suddenly assaulted by a vision of myself. Oh my god, that's horrible. My head spins with deja vu of deja vu. Oh, deja vu of deja vu, okay. Mirrors within mirrors. Like I have repaired this planet's pain infinite times before. Ah, oh, you don't say. The materials dissolve away. The vision passes. The static is quiet. Only silence remains. That is actually kind of creepy. And that was it. Wow. Okay, so today's daily is a little bit on the quicker. Uh, daily. Mm. Too much say this part? Maybe. Maybe not. Today's weekend uh, event has been kind of quick. Now, where is the portal? There it is. Like, really quick. I was not expecting it to be this quick. Honestly. And at the same time, I was a little bit hoping again, you know. Just, today is just not my day. No, okay, it's, I know I've been saying that a lot recently, but uh, seriously, it's just winter time for me. And summer, and autumn, and in general spring. Yeah, I just year round <laughs> it just happens uh, I can't I really have no control over it like you, you take pills you take like medication and uh, sprays nasal sprays and whatnot and home remedies and uh, a thousand other things and uh, you just nothing really helps too much it, a little bit sure uh, but most of the times they help so that's why I'm you know most of the time okay but sometimes they just don't or they do in a very, very uh, small amount of way. So, you know, it just... It's one of those days where all day, like, I haven't been able to record because of that. And it's kind of annoying me, to be honest, because... Yeah, I can play a game, sure. But I wanted to play No Man's Sky, <laughs> to be honest. And I wanted to play a little bit of Deep Rock Galactic as well. I was supposed to do co-op, and... I haven't. And I don't have time now to do co-op. It's horrible. I know I'm complaining a little bit this episode, but yeah, it, it happens. Maybe it's not just this episode. Maybe I do do it a little bit more often than I should. But if I shut up, what am I? It's just gonna be a silent episode of me playing. Nobody wants that. There you see. Nobody wants that. <laughs> uh, that's. That was probably supposed to be Chewbacca, but with double J. Anyway. Oh yeah, one more thing uh, that I wanted. To... So the, yeah, the living uh, the living egg actually apparently is not ten thousand. I was just you know, I was just being cautious. Just wanted to check out this terminal. New, no, it still does not recognize the <clears throat> the ships. So the reason we're jetpacking is because I kind of like to jetpack and rainbows. Rainbows. And mission complete. Oh. That was easy. Let's see, has something happened to the egg? No. Can I place the egg? You know what? Let's try. So let's go back to our home base. Yeah, let's go back to our HQ and let's try and place the egg. 
So I don't know why I passed through here, but it doesn't really matter. It's just a little bit longer, I think. It, yeah, it's a little bit longer. Rainbows, rainbows, I am the rainbow. Hopefully that's not a song because I saw... Oh, nope. That says home. That's... Oh, uh, that's not mine. That's why. Uh, mining base. No, we have so many bases. <laughs> it's unreal. If it's a decoration, like one of the glitches, I am gonna be... Sort of disappointed, to be honest. I would rather have it be a practical joke on us then it'd be just a decoration for the base and nothing else. Honestly, it'll be the most expensive single-use decoration. And it's gonna infuriate me. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I am... I think I might stick to the, the two of my theories. It's either a pet of some sort, eventually. Uh, you know, they're releasing the egg early and they're like, Oh, it has an incubation period of 356 days! Good luck waiting. Uh, until they actually release the... <laughs> until they actually make the pet work. Or... Uh, it's a practical joke. And on April the 1st, which is a couple of months from now, people are gonna be really, really pissed. Okay, anyway, let's go back. Let's get inside our base. Okay, there, there it is. Alright, well, if it's anywhere, it's gonna be in... Uh, yes, I still haven't removed this, so let's try. There is no living egg here. Okay. Haven't placed any of these, by the way, if anybody actually cares. Uh, no. I don't remember where they go. If they're glitches, do they just... I think they show up just in glitches. This is fireworks. Adornments? Maybe? No? No. Probably not under interior, I'm pretty sure. Is it just me or are we scrolling a lot slower for some reason? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm mistaken. Okay, I, d I didn't see it there. Foilage? Nope. 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 It's definitely not under lights, I'm pretty sure, yeah. And that was it. We checked everything, so it's not here. We have everything. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's nothing there. Structures? No, that's no, that's not possible. Okay, so no idea what it is. Maybe use it? No, E doesn't work, left mouse button does this. Uh right right mouse button of course does nothing. Wait a minute, I just realized something. Can I put it here? Nope, can't. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just keep it in my exosuit for a couple of days and we'll see what happens. Huh. That's gonna be interesting. Anyway, we're gonna be adding things off here. I know it's a little bit of a short episode, but, you know, it's the Weekend Warrior mission. It could take anywhere from, like, five minutes to five hours. You never know. Hopefully never five hours. For now, though, my name's Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see you all in the next one.